This is the judge in charge of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, as you know, of the warrant. And we'll see if he's going to release it next. He likes Oreos and whiskey. It was on you. I've never had, Raymond, I've never had measles. What are you talking about? This is stupid. It was an episode of a show, Laura. Well, what's it called? You. What is you. About? It's called you. I've never done a show on measles. I, I just completely give up. We gotta get it's up. It's a show I, I give up. called you on Netflix. There's a show called Laura Ingham on Netflix. You wanna know how bad inflation is? Yesterday, yes, I had a nice lunch at Taco Bell. Cost me about $28 at Taco Bell for lunch. People need to pay for those things, and they do that by getting jobs and getting in the economy and getting active and getting involved. Wait a minute. You spent $28 at yeah. Taco Bell for just yourself? <laughs> For lunch, yeah, it's, really? it's true. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a lot of chalupa. What I really want to know, the more important question here, is how does a man high on stimulants have the appetite for $28 <laughs> worth of Taco Bell? Americans want to know. Yeah, well look, it, it's our duty to provide context. So to be clear, it was $14 on Taco Bell, $14 on Charmin. <laughs> oh uh, my God. Look, <laughs> I've been to Taco Bell. Here, Here's authenticity for it, I've been to Taco Bell Many times yeah, in my life, yes. I enjoy it, yes. and I do not treat my body body as some sort of temple. You cannot spend twenty eight dollars on yourself. They have like family packs that I literally shudder when I see them on the sign. Oh, They're ten dollars. Oh, the family packs are lit. Sometimes I don't. I want the nachos. But I also want the deluxe tacos. <laughs> when I can't make that decision, I go for the family pack. I. I, I like so the Crunchwrap weird. Supreme. I ran the numbers, people. You can buy slightly more than seven. You die. This six is the lethal dose, and that's according to the FDA. You cannot spend $28. You might literally be able to buy one of everything. It's you can cruise fault, into Taco though. Bell yeah. like a king. So a picture of Bruce Reinhardt. This is the judge in charge of the of the uh of the, uh, as you know, of the warrant. And we'll see if he's gonna release it next. He likes Oreos and whiskey. <laughs> and that is, uh, uh, his name is uh, Brian Kilmeade. He is presenting uh, what appears to be an image of Justice Bruce Reinhardt, uh, who is the Florida judge who approved the FBI warrant uh, that led to the search of Mar-a-Lago this week. Uh, and he's getting a foot massage by Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, very interesting, she is a convicted sex offender. Let's also remind everyone of that. Uh, but what Kilmeade failed to mention in this news segment is that this is a photoshopped image uh, that was actually Jeffrey Epstein. And they photoshopped the judge right on top of it. This is, uh, you know, you can see Epstein there. And they photoshopped uh, Judge Bruce Reinhardt on top. Uh, I, I appreciate the addition of whiskey and Oreos. Uh, I think that's fun. Uh, first off, uh, one of the original uh, tweets that originated this meme uh, started with all caps from a right winger, of course. You just can't make this stuff up. No, actually, you can and you did. <laughs> you, that was literally made up. Real quick, if we could just show those uh, first two photos again. Because <clears throat> there is one thing that I want to note, okay? Doctor photo, go to the second photo. Okay, now go back to the first photo. The meme is in the photo. <laughs> Look by the window. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's on screen. Oh, my. At what dot the, the handle? It's right below the windows. You just can't make this stuff up, Rick. <laughs> You feel terrible for people in Puerto Rico who were just hit and Cuba who were just hit. Thank God we have better infrastructure in our country. We've put a lot of investment into making sure that we're ready for these things, but it's an act of nature. And that, of course, is an act of stupidity. Our country, well, Puerto Rico has been part of our country as a US territory for more than 130 years. Cenk, your thoughts? Yeah, so uh, first on the uh, McCollum and Sheriff stories. So first, a lot of Americans don't know that Puerto Rico is part of America, and that's because our government treats them that way. And so when Florida gets hit, everyone's like, "Oh my God, Florida, what's going on? Oh my, my heart goes out." Puerto Rico gets hit; it's an afterthought. And by the way, now that Florida got hit, nobody's even talking or thinking about Puerto Rico. And the infrastructure in Florida is better. That's because we don't spend money in Puerto Rico, even though it's a U.S. territory. 
because of people like Martha McCollum. You know, I was watching an episode of uh, You where measles came up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When did I mention measles? I don't know. It was on You. Wait, what? What? what, what? What was on me? What are you talking about? Ray, what is Ray even hearing what I'm the saying? I never had the measles. What's on you? We never did a. <laughs> We never did a measles and vaccine episode. Am I, is this a joke? I, know. I don't even know it what you're talking about. It was on you. All right. So uh, he's referring to a Netflix show literally titled You. Uh, this recent season, my opinion, not as great. But watch it for yourselves, make your own decision. Um, and uh, later, Raymond Arroyo claimed that uh, that whole interaction was actually scripted. Uh, he says, my favorite part was that only regular viewers realized it was totally scripted. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, I so badly want to call it the dumbest segment ever on cable news. Um, and, but I, I had already read the first time that I watched that they said it was scripted. And I was like, damn it, I think it is. Um, but Ed was the smartest guy in the room and, the whole, and he said, no, it's not scripted. So I. He honestly, Edwin, Ed was our stage manager. Edwin shaking his head makes me doubt myself. <laughs> so, congrats, Edwin. You're the only guy in the world who could make me doubt myself, okay? <laughs> You know, I, th I gotta give her partial credit for actually being a good actress. She is. I, I'm right? surprised by that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, we could be wrong. I'm curious what you guys think. A lot of people think, no way. They heard that it was scripted and they're not buying at all that it was scripted. And normally, we're super cynical, especially about the right wing, especially about Fox News. But you know what? We're also fair.